Hello and welcome everyone to the next episode on SAP Analytics Cloud Training with me Anubhav. In this session we will learn about how to perform and create a cascading dropdown in SAP Analytics Cloud Designer. If you are looking forward for corporate training on SAP Analytics Cloud Designer, feel free to subscribe us at anubhavtrainings.com. So let's go ahead and look at our use case, what we wanted to achieve in this example of dropdown cascading. So what I would like to do in this case is I would like to design an analytic designer application which will have two aspects. The first aspect is have a single dropdown showing different countries, for example, India and US. Now based on the selection, what I would like to do is on my second dropdown, I would like to show cities of that country. For example, if user select first drop down as India value, then I would like to show Mumbai, then Delhi, and let's say Bangalore. And if user selects USA, then I would like to show Kings County, Santa Clara, or LA. So this is how we are cascading the concept of drop down. So based on the selection here on the first one, the second one will update automatically. So let us go ahead and for this reason, what I've done already is created the sample data and I've loaded already the sample data in my array of countries. Yeah, so what I will do now is go ahead and create two drop downs on my analytic designer app. So let us go ahead and create two drop downs. And then I'll copy and create the second one. The first drop down I will name it as let's say country. So drop down country. And the second one I will name it as drop down city. So what I would like to do is for now I will hard code the value of country drop down which is in this case India and US. Yeah. And initially I would load it as a blank value. I guess it's not allowed. So I can just put a space. And default is blank. And of course when I select then I would be loading the corresponding cities of that particular country in my second drop down. So I'll switch over to my first drop down, which is the country drop down. And on select action, I would like to know what is the country which I've selected. So let's get selection my drop down country dot get selected key. And now what I will do is I will use my script variable for array of countries to load the corresponding country cities. So what I'll do is I'll start looping over it. Just create a for loop. My variable dot length. And we just create a quick loop. So that's the benefit of SAP Analytics Cloud Designer. All kinds of custom scenarios can be really automated over here. And at this point of time, I will just check if my array of countries of ith element its ID is matching with my country selected. And if yes, then that's the item to be added for my second dropdown. So I will use now my city dropdown object dot add item. And we will pass here the description, which is part of my city. You do control space and you can see that over here. Fantastic. Now every time I select I would like to also clear before I load the new items remove all items from my second drop down. So that's how we can cascade the selection of the first drop down value. Remember this is a very common scenario which we used to do in ERP system and now it's possible via the scripting in analytic designer. Time to execute our application. So let's start. 
and you will see now two drop downs on the screen. The second drop down currently has no values inside, which is fine. And now on the first drop down, I will go and select India. And now you can see we've got all the three cities from India. Now at the same time, I will go and select USA. And now you can see all the four cities from USA are popping up on my second drop down. So this way we can really go ahead and cascade the effect of the drop downs in SAP Analytics Cloud. I hope you enjoyed this video on SAP Analytics Cloud. For corporate training on SAP Analytics Cloud Analytic Designer, feel free to contact us at anubavtrainings.com. For end-to-end -end training with BI, Planning, Analytic Designer and Prediction on SSC with Live Data Connection is available at anubavtrainings.com. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.